Koronia Ina iyam nun yomu tukateti Dabi ya toka datu Dalal itu bona gana Dabi ya tu apabu kukam nakaku Kumbadu senangke Ini kabinnya kenyatu, sena kangke. Nuti sani na pere. Hai, tu kita buat transnasional identity formation ini. Transnasional identity formation is a process in which an immigrant adapts to his or her new host country. That's when, it comes, when an immigrant leaves uh, the homeland and comes to uh, the new country, the process by which, from starting from uh, you know, the day and the time they, they move from that place, and uh, the process of uh, the daily life. So, in the original homeland, the person has a status. Maybe he's a father. He's known in a clan, in a, in a, in a tribal society. In the land, uh, he has a status. If he's in Africa, in that society, she has a status. When she comes to America, when he comes to America, not only that person is coming to a new place, that person is unknown. He becomes the other. When he becomes the other, this other, the other has to transform into something, someone. That process is what we call it, uh, the formation of uh, trans, uh, national identity. Uh, in this process, migration involves for the individual a complete reinterpretation of the self as a social place. Because the social place has undergone significant change from both macro and micro uh, uh, forces and causes. Basically, the individual is expected and also has to go through a complete uh, transformation in, or, in order to uh, assert their the, uh, the, the role in this new society and find their status in place. The immigrant begins uh, the process of self reconstruction to become his new self, uh, to find uh, her comfortable and compatible place in the new setting. Change in social role, therefore, shares the person's new inner and outer. today for Oromo Awareness Day and I learned a lot about the culture and I'm still learning a lot about it. It's very interesting. I grew up in Sudan right on the border of Ethiopia and Sudan so um, the culture is a little familiar but it's always good to learn more. <laughs> The song that I was performing um, is about Africa and basically the miscon misconceptions that we have, um, a lot of people have about Africa, how it's bad um, and it's just this terrible place to be, but it's actually a beautiful place for those who have lived there. And um, I think the Oromo people know that and they appreciate that very well, so I'm here to support them today. As uh, OSU is organizing our Oromo Awareness Day at the UFM, and this event is all about Oromos and their surroundings here in America. Uh, we're trying to introduce Oromos to non Oromos who doesn't know about Oromo culture, history, language, and so on. Uh, on this event, uh, we have display boards explaining about Oromo history, uh, starting from back in 1800 uh, all the way. Um, to current, that means it started from uh, the time before Oromos were colonized to today's um, where Oromos are colonized and we have a um, language display board where it explains about Oromo language because it's usually hard to explain Oromos without talking about the significance of the language. Tate, you were 
as kesa bara tanor ro roman tan ti muda ti kopi kana oga oga dan kende sani kopi bareda yolen wan ro moda kana wala loti kana sati kana fakir de dati na kaga inte garsi sani jirani ti abu je na wangari oti chaja ni mat yolen wala bara sota romia da university ni sota ke sani ta Um, when I thought about them, that was it was actually pretty good because a lot of students um, who are almost are here, but I don't think there's enough number here. But I like the whole presentation and the whole concept of our one that came together, the explanation of it. So I really enjoyed that event. And um, also, I thought that Rome was the same as the OP for a long time, and this definitely, you know, confirmed that it's different. My name is Olu Adedeji. I'm from Nigeria. I'm right now representing uh, Oromo. I'm wearing a marto, as you can see. And uh, I learned about Oromo today, about how uh, the people are oppressed, and uh, basically they're trying to figure out a way to uh, be independent. They told, I learned about how they have their own economy, they have their own political government. And basically, like I'm wondering, like if they have all that, that then there's no really need for them to be part of Ethiopia. So now I know where they're coming from. And about the coffee stuff, I had no idea about the coffee. Okay. And the biggest ethnic group in Africa, that's that's crazy to me. I didn't know. I thought it was Nigeria, like always, but it's not, it's not Nigeria. So then, yeah. By the way, we're all Nigerian. Yes, Nigeria and Nigeria. And Nigeria all day. Thank you. Yeah, it's really, really, really good to learn about Rome, Rome here today. And uh, this really opened my eyes to, to the world. I, I didn't know about Rome. <laughs> so I just learned that some of the best athletes were Romans. What? This is unbelievable to me. Like, so they're not really Ethiopians, but they have to do it under Ethiopia. That's the only way for them to participate in the competition. But they're actually Oromia people. So, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. I came to Aromo Awareness Day, uh, uh, presented by the Aromo Student Union. My name is Jonathan Walker, I'm a student here at the University of Minnesota. One of the uh, parts of the day that I found very interesting was the political situation uh, in Aromia and uh, the way it affects the Aromo people. Uh, I took particular interest because I'm a political science major and uh, have always been very interested in politics. And I find it very interesting the way uh, the political system is structured and um, how Oromia, the, this region in Ethiopia, is subjected um, to the Ethiopian government and, their, and the way that the Ethiopian government enforces their policy on Oromia, um, even though the Oromo people uh, tend to, to have many aspects and operate um, as if they're a sovereign nation and, and a stable sovereign nation, um, certainly moving in that direction. So I, I found that very interesting, the way there's that political, there appears to be a political tension between uh, the Ethiopian government and the Roman people.
Cultural Awareness Day. And what I learned is that the Oromo culture is beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah